Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jeanette. I think I'm going to do a what I eat in a day video today and it is supposed to be warm and sunny. It's going to be 75 degrees, so unseasonably warm for us this time of year, but not unusual. We're into spring technically and as we inch closer to summer, we have a lot of these days where it's really warm and sunny like this just to kind of give us a taste of what's to come and then it gets cold again. So we could still get some snow this month, so we're not we're not thinking that this is it, but we're going to definitely get outside today and enjoy this weather, I'm sure. But for food, I think I'm going to start with savory oats because I have everything to make those. I don't know what else I'm going to do today. I guess I'm going to wing it. I changed my mind. No oatmeal today. I'm instead doing Dave's Killer Bread toasted with a little almond butter and cinnamon pear jam on top, some strawberries, and yesterday I made a batch of my pureed vegetable soup that's from my cookbook and it's delicious. So I'm going to have that. And the Dave's Killer Bread that I have here is this one. It's called Good Seed. And that's it. This is breakfast. I'll see you guys back a little later. All right, time for lunch. So I made a big salad. Under there is greenhouse grown romaine. I've got one shredded purple carrot. I've got one sliced small cucumber. This is locally grown microgreens, cilantro on top, sesame seeds, and it's dressed with the juice of one lemon and one teaspoon of extra virgin olive oil. Yes, I do use a little bit of olive oil. If it's okay by Dr. Andrew Weil, it's okay by me. So I do use a little bit of it. And this is leftover pizza. It looks like a mess, but I heated this up in a pan on the stove. It gets nice and crispy, just like you took it out of the oven. And all I have on this, this is our, we buy the pizza crusts from Wegmans. And then I just put the pizza sauce on it and I load it up with veggies. This has peppers, onions, mushrooms, spinach, black olives. I think that was it. And I just sprinkled it with nutritional yeast. And that's what I'm having for lunch. If I need more food, I'll come get some more food. But I think I'm going to be good with this. We discovered a new sushi place. So tonight we got takeout from there. So I got the their vegetable roll, which has seaweed salad, a whole bunch of veggies, and it's got gobo, which I think is burdock root, so that's going to be new for me. And then I got the cucumber avocado and asparagus roll, and there's lots more left because I got two of those rolls. And then we got edamame with salt, so lots of yum-yums. Actually, why don't we do two days of what I eat in a day? So I did have a snack last night uh, before bed, not just before bed, but like an hour before bed. I had some Plant Strong popcorn, which is in a microwave bag. It's oil-free. So I had probably a third of that with a little bit of salt on it. And this morning, I'm going to have the same thing I had yesterday. I already took a bite. This is the Dave's Killer Bread toasted with one tablespoon of almond butter, a little bit of cinnamon, some cinnamon pear jam, and then I did a bunch of strawberries. And I also have my pureed vegetable soup from my cookbook. I made a batch of this the other day, so I'm trying to get this eaten up. And it's delicious, so I'm having some of that. That's my veggie side. Yeah, that's it for breakfast. I'll see you guys back for lunch. All right, it's time for lunch. So I just made some chickpea salad. I used my Vitamix to wet chop a can of chickpeas and then I rinsed and drained them and I wet chopped one whole carrot and a little bit of raw onion and I used some of my cashew ranch uh, type mayonnaise that I've been making um, which I can actually show you here in just a second and I used that for the quote mayonnaise to hold this together it's delicious and I've got two pieces of the Dave's killer bread I've got some romaine lettuce and I have some locally grown pea shoots that I'm going to put on top of that. And there is my sandwich. I also have a mini cucumber on the side and I'm going to finish off the vegetable sushi that I did not finish from last night. All right, it's time for dinner. So we get these little salad kits. So I'm just having this romaine lettuce with some of my vegan ranch. And I'll tell you what that is in just a second. This is whole grain spaghetti with marinara sauce and under all this other sauce, I've got sauteed spinach and mushrooms and onions. And then I made my own 
vegan Parmesan. So all I did was mix together some cashews and nutritional yeast and some sea salt and I blended that together in the blender until I got a powder-like consistency and this is dinner. Good morning everyone. Well why don't we do three days of what I eat in a day. I think that's kind of nice too because then you can kind of get a better cross-section of some of the stuff that I that I tend to eat. I don't eat the same way every day. I'm a foodie. I really like food. I love experimenting with foods. So everything is usually different every day and I like variety. So right now I am making my savory oatmeal and I make this pretty much the same way all the time. But I just used this morning quick cooking oats. Sometimes I use regular rolled oats. I like the texture of quick cooking oats better so I tend to use those more often. And then I have always some kind of greens on hand. This time I used frozen spinach because I'm trying to go through my freezer and use up some stuff in there. And I had sauteed mushrooms because I always have sauteed mushrooms on hand. I just love them. And then we had make your own pizza night recently. So we have a jar of pizza sauce and the stuff that we get is a Wegmans brand and it's just crushed San Marzano tomatoes and I think there's just a tiny little bit of olive oil in it. Not enough to even list any fat on the label, but that stuff doesn't bother me. So I use that for my tomato product and then I just add some water. Um, what else did I put in here? Smoked paprika. I accidentally dumped a bunch of it in here. So it's going to be really smoked paprika-y. And then I use garlic salt, onion powder, and nutritional yeast. And I'm just going to add the little bit of garlic salt now. And then it cooks really fast within a couple of minutes. And that's it. That is my savory oatmeal. I'm probably going to have some fruit with this as well. But let me get this plated and I'll show you what I've got here. So here is my savory oatmeal. It's one of my favorite breakfasts and it's a great way for me to get veggies in at breakfast time. And I also made a fruit salad. And I wanted to show you guys the strawberries that I've been getting these. I get at Wegmans. They're organic, greenhouse grown. They're always this beautiful deep red color. They taste sweet and delicious and they actually last a long time. I've had these last almost an entire week in the refrigerator. And some of the other brands that I find, even you know, organic or not organic, they, they tend to not last very long. I mean, berries in general don't, but these, these actually do. But it's only really been once that I've kept them past five days because I eat them up so quickly. They're not cheap, I will tell you that. They're about $7 a container for these, but I love them. Now, I'm not a real stickler for organic everything, but... When it comes to strawberries, I do tend to stick with organic just because I've heard about the pesticide use on them. I don't know if all that's true, but I feel better getting organic strawberries and it's one of the things I do spend the money on. All right, I'm gonna eat breakfast and then I will see you guys back later for lunch. I got really busy with work. It's getting late, I'm very hungry. So I went up to this lovely little cafe that we have here and I got this gorgeous dish. They make their own hummus, and then there's roasted carrots, beets, asparagus, and tomatoes, and some toast. I'm making some more toast. I'm having two more slices of the Dave's Killer bread, and this is what I will have for lunch, and then I will see you guys back for dinner. All right, for dinner, Jim wanted to get Chinese food tonight, so I ended up getting their miso soup. I didn't even realize they had this, but Jim got it for me one night, and it's amazing. So I got their miso soup. And then I just did a photo shoot for the cookbook with a new salad. So this is my salad. I've got some of my vegan ranch and I have some of the rice from his dinner because they give you a ton of it. So this is what I'm having for dinner. Oh my goodness. I got one tired pup here. So we're gonna wind down this evening and watch our show. I don't think I'm gonna have anything else to eat today. I'm pretty full from dinner, but I hope you guys enjoyed seeing a couple days of what I eat in a day. That's it for today. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.